Hello everybody, in the last video we explained about the, uh, the basic thing in the shading language in Godot and in this video we are going to create um, a small circle only with the shading language. So uh, I have a basic uh, project in Godot already set up. I have uh, a color rect and a shader that connected to that color rect. So uh, what is the what is a circle? Circle actually is a as a center and all of its edge is has the same distance from its center so uh, first of all I define a vector 2 uh, uv and that is going to be equal to uv okay and then I going to define another variable that called d and d is equal to length of our uv so this function, this length function, is going to calculate uh, the length of the this vector, the, the vector uv. Okay. So if I want to visualize that, I can write color equal to vector four, uh, vector three, d, and one for this side. Okay. Okay. So what is happening here that? This is this means that uh, we define a vector for that uh, red, green, and blue channel are equal to d. And as you can see, here is UV, our uv for x and y is zero, and here is for x one, and here is for y one, and is here for both of them one. And as you can see, as the as the distance from this point is increasing, we have increase in the d value. Okay, so. How can we draw a, a circle that we can say that is a circle? So the, I define a radius for our circle, which is 0.3, and then I'm going to define a, define our color for C. I will say C and put all of initialize our, my color with the zero value zero. Okay, and then put this one to our color. So this is our color that is zero. So here I'm going to change my color. I say if if um, my distance is less than radius, okay. If my distance is less than radius, please change my color to one. Let's see what's happening. Yes. So how we can bring this circle to the middle of the screen? So what we can do in here is going to uh, move our coordinate system and by doing that minus 0.5. So this is minus 0.5 it's already is equal to these things uv minus vector 2 uh, 0.5 and this is for the simplicity okay. So as you can see, we don't have quite a circle. Instead, it is a little bit distorted. So why is that? So actually, as you know, the x component of our uv, our uv coordinate system, is start from here zero and is going to be one here. Also for the y component, but we have more pixel in in the x direction. Okay, and uh, and and this is because our our uh, <coughs> circle is uh, distorted so what we can do if you go here direct you can see the uh, the resolution of our uh, our rect color rect so if i bring my calculator here so we have 1024 in the x direction and we have 600 in the y direction so this is the aspect ratio, okay? If I multiply my x with this aspect ratio, let's see, uv dot x uh, is multiply by uh, this aspect ratio, okay? Uh, what is happening? Yes, I should put one here. Oh. 1.7. Why is not? 1.7 okay so now you can see this is a very perfect uh, circle we can do it by some code that uh, 
every time that we change this, uh, uh, it is also uh, build that circle automatically and change the aspect ratio in here. But um, I won't do that in this uh, video tutorial. Okay. So we made our circle, but as you can see, we have a very sharp edge. So how we can make it more smooth? There is a built-in function in a Godot uh, shading language, which is called smooth step. So, so I use that function to build my uh, build my color. So c is equal smooth step. It has three value min, max, and uh, the value. So what does it mean? Everything below the minimum should be zero. Everything bigger than the uh, maximum should be one. And everything between those, it will be interpolated between these two value, between zero and one. So what can I do that I will say, okay, my minimum uh, value is uh, C, okay. And then I, I will put, oh, sorry, uh, radius, okay. I will put my radius and then I will put my radius here plus a small number, okay. And the value should be the distance from the center. So the distance from the center, okay. So you can see that we have a blurry, but I can reduce that to 0.1. And we have more, much better circle, and it does not have a so sharp edge. But here, uh, as you can see, I want the circle white and the background uh, <coughs> black. So what can I do? I can change my minimum. If I minus this, so this value is bigger than this value, so automatically that will change. So I have a white circle. Okay, so what if I want to change this circle, maybe move it, okay? So, or maybe do an operation on this. I can put this, my, my circle in a function. So I create a function that create my circle. That function uh, return and float, which is the color of the circle, okay? So I will say circle. And what this function we should give to the, this function is uh, is <coughs> is the center is the UV, okay? And uh, and actually, I will define another variable called blur. I should say vector two, and that is float. Float. Okay. So I have my function. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to copy all of this in my function. So I will copy. Okay, I want to put the radius also. Yes, so another one, float radius. Okay, so I copy all of this from here to here, copy and put this in here. So I have UV, I have the radius, so I don't need that more anymore. And and that is going to be blur, okay? Blur. And I don't need that anymore also. And let's return the C. Okay. And that should work. So uh, here I just I just say for example circle float circle of one is equal to our circle we pass the UV we pass uh, our radius for example point two and we pass our blur function which is point one and I just draw the C one and it's work a same. But this time I can also move the my circle. For example, if I want to move it over there, I can point to, for example, as you can see, I can move my circle. I can change my circle, for example, radius, make it bigger. 
and also I can make another circle close C2 easily circle uh, UV plus 0.2 and uh, plus 0.3 and the blue value would be 1 yep and in the in this section I should add those numbers together so I have another circle as you can see so with this method you can create as many as circle you want and your code is much more simple so that is that's it for this video and uh, hope you enjoy this video till the next video goodbye